Now, what if we have a woman, not perimenopause, she's full-blown menopause. Her FSH levels are sky high, her estradiol levels are way low in the menopausal range, and we've established she doesn't have a uterus, she doesn't have a cervix, plus or minus for the moment the ovaries. We'll let them be on the back burner for the moment. Those women need to go on hormone therapy, in my opinion, because menopause is a state of hormone deficiency. Then we're going to give a physiologic dose of estradiol, just like we would if a woman had a uterus, because this is menopause. The ovaries are not producing those hormones. We're going to replace those hormones, and we're going to replace the estradiol through the skin, transdermal, by patch, gel, or compounded cream to achieve levels that are consistent with a healthy reproductive age woman. We want them to be preferably at least in the 60s, heading closer to 100. I would say somewhere between 60 and 150. These are general numbers, and that is measuring in picograms per mil. 